bedroom and we are gonna reorganize this space using mostly what they already have my budget is just $200 and Gracie is almost 13 so I want to make this a sophisticated and fun space on a crazy small budget and we only have four hours so let's get started right now everything out of the closet and from the corner and now we're going to macro sort into these clear bins it's clear because she's a butterfly a visual organizer no lids and we're macro sorting so big categories like crafts pretties that's what she calls hair accessories sports equipment and memories are going to be slid under the bed maybe i can be a rock star playing songs on my guitar i know i have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself Shouldn't be so complicated If I listen to my heart I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself I'm In the pile of junk in the corner I found a bunch of floating shelves I think the homeowner had intended to use these They're perfect for a butterfly Because butterflies are visual organizers So I have the perfect spot to hang these To create tons of visual storage And not spend any money at all So Gracie's room is really tiny and there's a lot going on. Gracie's also an entrepreneur, so she makes slime at home and sells it at school. I love girl bosses when they're only 12, it's amazing. But she doesn't have a desk and it's such a small space that we're going to make her a desk by shoving this dresser over. I have some old wood in my garage and I have these legs, these Ikea legs that have been riding around in my van for the past six months because of laziness, so this is the perfect opportunity to use them. The one thing that this room is lacking is a headboard, so I'm going to show you how you can make a dramatic headboard for less than $50. So we're making a quick DIY headboard for under $50. And I picked up this sheet of spruce for just $27 and the hardware store cut it to size for me. And then I made two cleats. These are like blocks that sort of stack together so you can hang heavy things on the wall without having to like deal with construction-y type things. So we're gonna attach the cleat to the back of the headboard and then I'm gonna show you how you can quickly make a headboard for your house as well. I laid out two meters of fabric and quilt batting and I'm using it to cover this board. Always start in the middle and staple gun, pulling tight, working towards the corners. Then you wanna fold the corners in, do the corners last and staple them into place. The homeowner already had these beautiful bedding and pillows set and we wrapped those Christmas lights behind the headboard for an awesome nightlight. All of these wall hangings the homeowner already had. They were in that pile in the corner when we first got here. We just took a few minutes to actually hang them up. I love this makeover. It's a great example of using what you already have to make a room beautiful. The only thing I purchased was a few new bins and some underbed storage and those two pink lamps. Everything else was already here. An unused wall in this closet was the perfect spot for a dollar store shoe organizer. I love finding hidden storage spots just like this. 
So in just a few hours and for just a few dollars, we transformed this tiny bedroom into a gorgeous oasis. I'm jealous of the headboard. Who else is jealous of the headboard? I'll see you guys next time. Into the carpet. Into the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, you know what? Why are you so slippity doodles? Well, do you want to trim it? Do I? I don't know. Do I? I feel like this is just going to slide right off. But yes. Like that's what I was saying. I feel like it should have been. Was it supposed to be like, like look, like that if way? This is like this on the wall. I mean, in theory, but I'm wondering if it was supposed to be like that. If the, we put the cleat on wrong, it's not the right drill bit. You don't care. We're so sturdy. We're so sturdy. I'm put something like right in there. Do you want the right bit? No. What? You're like, why doesn't it work right? What? Why isn't this going? Are we? We're using squares. We're using squares. 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 The headboard isn't straight. No. So, what we do? You want me to pull it off with you? No. Yes. But well, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck something here. Mm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Play-Doh? Play-Doh would be perfect. In the meantime, uh, mm, a sock. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs>